Hello everyone and welcome to yet another game in the Sun Bros Tournament Finals. Grand Finals between LFS and Platypus Slayer 1. This is game 4 of the tournament of the, the series best of 7. We've got a 2 to 1 lead uh, and I'm going to spoil it for you here. 2 to 1 lead for LFS who has won the last two games on uh, on uh, Cascade Range and then on Mongolia. So we have Platypus Slayer picking the map Grand Chaco for game four. LFS picking his main or one of his, his best civs, China. And an interesting counter pick Achoo. for Ew. Platypus Slayer in Inca, which has recently received a fairly large nerf. Yes, this is strictly taking like one of the best civs in the game against one of the civs that got nerfed. Uh, China happens to be a main for both of these players, so uh, maybe Platypus's inside knowledge of uh, China and their weaknesses will let him go on top here, but I definitely think it's going to be an uphill battle for him, and uh, if he's not exceedingly careful, this could very quickly turn into a 3-1 to one score lead. You know, he does have... He has to have a strategy... Oh. He um, does have a strategy. Look, he's got a Tambo up already. Yeah. This is a native rush. Yep, so he's he's got a strategy in mind uh, because you don't just pick Inca, especially after there are nerfs, into China knowing that it's one of the best civs in the game. So that Tambo going to go up in the middle of the map. He's using Inca's strongest units, the natives that aren't their the, units. The, the natives that aren't their units, that is right. We're going to take so a look at, at the, the decks. Natives on the map. Uh, I, the, uh, I'll let you go. I, I, I pardon my language here but the inca's deck is named toxic shit so <laughs> uh sending three villagers as his first card probably gonna send uh maybe sapa inca american, allies, american allies would be another good one followed to by send. native treaties in all likelihood so we're gonna see a very toxic strat not i will uh, I won't we're say actually, it anymore. Actually, it's a toxic we're strat. Very, we're actually going to see a very toxic shit. But. No, 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 <laughs> that's not allowed. We're going to pop back. We're going to take a look at the China <laughs> players deck. This is Ulan Gaming, by the way, if you were not aware. Oh. Uh, I failed to introduce him at the beginning of this video. He's so, here now. His deck is 1v1, the, and it's... The natives on the map here, they're actually very similar to Inca's natives because uh, the Quichua used to be Inca in as a minor civilization before Inca became a major one. Uh, so we have the, the Inca Bolas warriors that you get in age 3, but in age 2, and then you have the uh, basically Plume Spearman as a native, and then over here uh, we have Bolas Riders and then Mupuchi Ironwood Clubman, Clubman, which are basically macemen, so... He's basically running, like, all of Inca's units, but in age two instead of three. <laughs> so it's going to be really interesting to see how this all yeah. plays out. If I was the, right. There is American Allies coming as the second card. If the uh, China player sees this happen, if LFS sees this coming, uh, which I suspect he might, knowing that that uh, that Platt has taken this trade post. Uh, Considering the only speck of blue on the map as a trade post, it's pretty easy to see coming. <laughs> Yeah, um, so he's going to be going up with, uh, I'm assuming that is a Summer Palace that, nope. Yes, oh, it is. That, it is sorry, he's palace. aging, so aging with the Chief, Platypus Slayer is, and then Summer Palace for China. Uh, the, uh, the Chief, chief is that the is, fast age uh, up? Wagons. Nope, it's wagons. Uh, you get two builder wagons that can build anything except military buildings. He's probably going to get uh, conchas with them, or maybe more tambos as well. Pardon the interruption. I am back. Um, we have a second Tambo coming up, and then a, a third one. Uh, sorry, a second Tambo coming up on the uh, the, the Mopuchi. Uh, he's got the native allies that have arrived. And native uh, embassy and has been built as well. He's probably so. going to ally with the Zapotec. I'm not entirely sure which one he'll go for. Oh, he's already picked. Uh, Zapotec. Yep, Zapotec. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get. He, he, wow, he's gonna get a huge shipment of units once he ships native treaties. So as soon as he hits age two, I imagine we'll end up seeing him uh, get a very significant age two early push against a China player who 
really is looks like he's focused on eco right now has sent uh, northern refugees followed by 700 wood so conjas in a market going up from inca uh we have 700 wood as you said coming up oh uh this is this is a classic lfs thing so he's making little walls with his uh he's making little boxes with his walls and uh, i've seen him do this with british longbowmen before uh, what he will do is he's going to mass, he's going to use this as, as a way to basically monocomp archers. He's going to pick something long range, and he's going to run around, and he's going to shoot. And as soon as the counters get on top of him, he's going to disappear into these little boxes here. Uh, and then shoot while the enemy can't fight back. This is a very L classic LFS thing to do. He's done it against me before several times. It's uh, So he's going to be, so he's obviously going to be expecting that the rush is here. And see turtling, no. turtling up as unfortunately we see a villager get stuck on something. I don't know what that villager is stuck on. He's just kind of hanging out, stuck on a hill, uh, and not building anything. Oh, here comes, here comes the push. Six hundred wood now coming in. Four China players still focused entirely on eco, going to be building up those walls. Eight and here is the Eight rush. Wars. Yep. So we here will comes. see exactly what happens here. Uh, consulate going up and a war academy going up for uh, the China player here in the back. But right now has no military units to speak of except for the Summer Palace, which will be producing units. Let's hop over to him. Is about three quarters of the way done with the standard army. Immediately LFS is... Uh, is what are these called? Villages, sorry, are being sieged down. Taking no time yep. trying to pop his opponent is Platypus Slayer. And look at that, because, because he sieged that village, it's stopping the uh, Summer Palace army from going out. And just like that, that yep. Uh, China is housed. Uh, 33 out of 30 unit pop. Going to be essentially ignoring this pikeman. Okay, nope, never mind. There it goes. Uh, the the pop of step riders does come in because it had already been selected. Village going to be going down again. I would expect uh, he's fully sacrificing his entire mass on this village. No, he's not. Okay, he's going to turn around and fight. We're going to pop over to, over to his perspective real quick. See what is happening. He's sending Chimu runners behind this, training the Huaminka. I'm going to pronounce that wrong. Yeah, and yeah, ends up wiping and wiping the force and and again going to siege a village down completely avoiding uh, ignoring the chukunu that are there now we finally see a, a pop of irregulars to try and deal with that but the reinforcing batch of units is coming in the chinese monk is going to go down uh bruce lee sorry you cannot fight that one uh, <laughs> And China's looking like it's in a pretty bad spot right now. He is completely housed, 48 out of 30, surviving entirely on military unit shipments here. Um, He'll be getting a new house up soon. He definitely has the wood. Does have the village up. It seems like a pretty but smart idea at like this point to have sent. Side. Oh, he canceled the the 600 wood shipment and then instead sent military sent military shipments behind it. Uh, these Chukanu are going to be. You know, trying to get all these military units down, doing a pretty good job of that. I'm not sure what the follow-up is here for Platypus now, now that this, this this push has been repelled. No longer Inca idle your eco. Uh, an eco uh, an eco advantage at the moment. He's got 24 villagers uh, compared to China's still 20 and not training anything uh, because Inca uh, because China has just been so housed. Uh, China's still not making a new, um, still not making a new, uh, uh, village yet, which is something he really, really needs to do because he's been housed for a fat minute here. Perhaps uh, a the little bit remains, flustered. The more Inca's, is... the more Inca's uh, advantage is going to come in. The Summer Palace is starting to get sieged down by the, uh, by the... You're, you're ahead of me again. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Perhaps a little bit flustered, still 30 out of 30 population despite having all the wood here. Um, the castle is going to go up instead of a village. There's the Summer Palace getting sieged down. The Chukonu uh, are going to be sieged, going to be attacked, I guess, by these 
what are, I don't even know how to pronounce those. I'm gonna not. Quechua. Oh, which, which units? The uh, Huamin, Huaminka. The Huaminka, I think is how that's pronounced. The Summer Palace pop finally does get out. That may be the first Summer Palace pop that we have seen. Uh, by Sun feels bad rooting for Inca nat native rush, but it will even the series. I'm not sure that this will even the series. I mean, this this rush is it was good, but the China Turtle has proved to be able to hold this off, and there's not much of anything behind this for the China he does player. Have a heavy eco lead. I don't think China has even started making villagers again. Uh, so he's, he's on he 21 villagers players. versus 27 for Inca now. Uh, so All Inca has to do is keep the pressure up and keep making units, maybe eventually go to age 3, and uh, he can he can continue to press this because China's running out of unit shipments. China is uh, indeed... China's finally queuing up settlers again. Completely out of unit shipments, I believe. He does have Mongolian Scourge and Spice Trade, and then... Uh, other than that, he's got, other than Mongolian Scourge, it's all eco shipments, so. He's going to have to get to age 3 if he wants to do anything. Unfortunately, he has been entirely turtled in, forced the, Inca players forced the walls <laughs> up. Sieging the village again. <laughs> you are again ahead of me. I guess I'll speed up a little bit as... These lightning warriors gonna come in and try and, you know, oh, still now. being housed. Uh, the pikemen gonna come and force these uh, these units off the village and not gonna get the village down. So that is a huge. HP left. Oh, that's sad. 277 HP. Uh, we'll see if LFS wants to repair that. I imagine he will because he is currently very close to being housed yet again. Meanwhile, we're going to hop over to the Inca player, Platypus Slayer, who is also running Stop. short on unit shipments in Age 2. Neither player really has much in the way of eco. Plat going to be focusing his entire eco on food and wood. Coming back oh, in, the village the did not get repaired. Uh, let's see if this siege does it. Yep, the village does go down. The village goes down, and uh, these lightning warriors are going to dive on the player, and there's a whole bunch of blue numbers. This is actually a, a really big learning period for me, too, because I had no idea that China could be stopped this easily by uh, by dealing with their... Well, not easily, I say, but it could, could be stopped this way by, by uh, targeting their houses specifically. But I guess it does make a lot of sense. You know, the, those villages have quite a lot of uh, population, increase your population cap by, by a significant margin. So taking those out and forcing the China player to spend res on on housing rather than military and not getting that death ball up seems like a really smart decision. Now the the, the, the villager difference is much, much larger. Uh, we, we see the uh, Incas at 33 compared to China's 23, and China's still housed. So that's going to only get larger and larger. China does have the res to go to age 3, which is very well done on the China player's part here to, despite being rushed, have the res for age 3, defend the rush, is now aging with the Confucian Academy. Now, we do see um, this thing that I was mentioning here. Uh, this is what, like, uh, 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 this is what um, ASD is really known for with my games. He's he's stuck nine Shukanus in this little box here, and he just puts them in standard ground mode so that they don't leave the box without him telling them. And, and, uh, it, it's very, very difficult for you to get the counter, uh, especially for Inca, who doesn't have a can. It's very difficult to get the counter up and running. Yeah, so you have to siege that wall down first before you can even get to the Chukonu. Uh, we're going to hop over and turn Fog of War on. China is completely stuck in their base. They are running out of natural resources. Um, as we see now, the Chukonu sitting there. And sniping away at the Lightning Warriors. Completely out of res. Aging to age 3 behind this. Uh, 
Platypus Slayer here doesn't really have much in the way of line of sight either. He's just massing up a large batch of units, uh, building a war hut behind this, and now we see Age 3 happen. Oh, we have uh, red villagers leaving the base. Yep, uh, we it'll have be those, interesting the, to see if this gets spotted. The red bills sure. are going to go try and find some food because they are short on food. The Chukunu is going to be sitting in that box while the lightning warriors siege the walls down. And then as soon as this wall goes down, those Chukunu are going to back up. And the Chukunu, and probably knowing that it is a losing battle, Platypus Slayer wisely is going to back off there. Chukunu do back out of the, um, the box. We do see red coats and then, coming now from the consulate. And then one Chasky just kind of running in and suiciding himself on the Summer Palace. That's nice. <laughs> so behind, despite being rushed and having a, an eco disadvantage, uh, LFS has managed to get a death ball going, has a 2k score lead, and is going to be pushing forward toward the Inca player's base. Another village going to be going down by this. This really is just a, a great representation of the ridiculousness that is China in the game's current state at the moment. Uh, you know, China in this tournament is undefeated. Uh, with the exception of the one China mirror that Platypus and Dunamai decided to go on. Uh, we'll talk more about that later, though, as Platypus Slayer is pushing the China base, going to kill one villager, probably going to get at least two. Got some Redcoats and some Arcaboosers and some Chukunu sitting in the box again, trying to get housed, or trying to house the China player once more time, sieging those villages down. Meanwhile, we've got some Kang Pikemen and uh, some Step Riders going to deal with the forward base that Inca has. That is the right call. The, uh, the Step Riders do have just an incredibly high amount of siege for a one pop uh, and cavalry. You know. So we see blue all over China's base right now. They're shooting villagers. They're shooting these uh, Chukono here. And, and really good job of good use of the walls by LFS here to, to really sit there and, and sit in a pocket that's really hard to get to. Uh, yes. If if that if those walls don't exist, LFS definitely loses that engagement just because of the size of the mass. I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, a big part of what's what's really stopping Platypus Slayer is he doesn't at the moment have uh, have a skirmisher that he's been making lots of, and we have these age three consulate uh, co consulate musketeers here that are just wiping the floor with. Uh, all of the heavy infantry that that Platypus Slayer himself is putting up. China now, you know, oh, now we has see, now a, we see Yep, China has access to a whole bunch more military shipments now that he's age three, and is going to push this forward base. And and there's nothing that Plat can do about this. He's got uh, are these some jungle? He's got the jungle bowmen, which are going to do work. I don't know if they have Karari. I don't know if Karari is even in the deck. Karari not even in the deck, so these jungle bowmen don't have poison damage, and it's really uh, becoming apparent that that the China Death Ball is taking a, a a huge advantage in in this game, just able to wipe the floor. 44 bills for I mean, Platypus Slayer, 24 if, if, for China here, but China's military eco is any enough. Other civilization, any other civilization, and Inca would have won this, but for whatever reason, China is able to out-eco despite, uh, out -eco despite ha being housed multiple times and having 20 less villagers. China is just really one of the most ridiculously good civs at the moment in this game, and there's there is no contesting that. Yeah, 23, 25 probably... bills um, versus 40. Yeah, China made, after the initial rush, China made five bills and lost one over the rest of the series and still was able to get H3 and get those shipments. And, and you're right, China is just a... A massively, I won't. Monster. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a monster of a civ. You look at military unit population. I guess military unit count is better. 
because most of Incas were natives. Um, and you just see the masses go and build and build and build. And then LFS just ends up the death ball gets to a critical mass. And that is the game. We're going to take a look at idle villagers really quickly. Yeah, so all the idle villagers for China and yet still was able to get to age three, get the death ball, get the shipments with the summer palace and just end up uh, wiping the floor. LFS now takes a three to one series lead in this best of seven. He is on game and match point for this series about to take home the Kenny Powers role that is given out by the Discord. If you liked what you saw, give it the video a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to join the next tournament, subscribe or join the Discord. Link in the description below. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.